What's up guys, we start the vlog today on a train. We are on a train headed to Paris this morning. Oh wait, are we saying it now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're headed to Paris. So, this is gonna be cool. Never been on a train for this for this uh, long before. Have you ever been on a train before? Yeah. What? Um, Salt Lake. The Olympics. hotel room in Paris. We're in Paris, the city of love. We're about to go see the Eiffel Tower. We actually saw it driving in, but we're about to go stand beneath it. Our train ride so seemed confused. so short. Yeah, we were, it was like. I swear we were on there for maybe an hour. Yeah, it didn't seem very long at all. I was so, I'm still so confused. All of a sudden everybody started like standing up and it was slowing down and we were like. I was like, wait, is there more than one stop? Because like. It was just so quick. Yeah, it was a really, really quick train ride. We're here, we made it to Paris. How crazy is that? We're in the city of love. I know. So we went on a little walk and look what we found. Wow. It's the Eiffel Tower. It's so big in person. What are your crazy. thoughts? I don't even know. <laughs> it's just really cool. to the other side of the Eiffel Tower. This is cool. Why is this guy honking so much? It's the Eiffel Tower. It's really cool, these trees around here are like, they're all cut like a perfect line. It's kind of weird. Look how pretty all of these buildings are. We're walking down this cutest little street and everything's just beautiful. It is freezing though, it's seriously so cold. Like I have on this sweater, this sweater, this coat, boots, pants, a hat, and I'm like really cold. Look at all these buildings. They're so cute. Oh, I'm getting left behind. I almost left you. We're heading back to the Eiffel Tower now. We don't know exactly what else to do. I thought other stuff was closer to the Eiffel Tower, but I think the things you wanna see are kind of farther away. Yeah. So. We just gotta wander around the Eiffel Tower and like find something to do around there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe grab a churro. <gasps> I was just thinking Should that. We get they a churro? have places with churros. Yeah, we'll have to get a little snack. It's almost dinner time, so we'll have to get dinner soon too. We just ate. <laughs> that was lunch and breakfast. Oh yeah. That was the first food we ate all day, except for the... We got some strawberries and some grapes that we ate on the train and that's all that we've had. So we made it back from the Eiffel Tower and whatever else we did from food. We just wandered around for a little bit longer and then we came back to the room. And as soon as we got back to the room, I passed out. <laughs> I fell right asleep. I was tired. Aspen, ugh, excuse me. <laughs> Aspen's. Hello. Okay, thank you. They don't have French fries? Why do they don't have French fries in France? Anyways, Aspen slept on the train a little bit. I didn't. I don't think I did. I don't think I actually fell asleep. Well, you had your but eyes still, closed. Yeah, but I'm still just so confused how it was so fast. Yeah, I don't know. We just ordered some room service. I'm so hungry. It's... Since Parker fell asleep, we didn't realize everything would be closed because it's Sunday. Yeah. So things closed early. So we were about to go out and get some dinner, 
and then we were looking at places i was actually on google maps like the 3d like the street view and i was trying to like find the path from our hotel to like see what it looked like the what street view is so cool you know how you can go on street view i put the little guy on street view and then i was like pretending to walk from our hotel to the places oh yeah i used to so always that do I that knew, like the path oh yeah there's a starbucks we were gonna go to starbucks but it's closed i just wanted a bagel it is very hard for me to travel to different countries because i eat a very certain way and it's really hard and everyone always freaks out They're like you don't even appreciate the culture and stuff no, I do. I'm very grateful to be here, but I do like to eat a mostly plant-based diet, and that's just hard to do sometimes when you're not familiar, like, with the places. Yeah, that's so, true. like, if I did more research, I'm sure I could find places. Tomorrow, I'm definitely gonna, like, we passed a bunch of, like, marketplaces with a ton of fruit, so I'm gonna stock up on that. But yeah, it's just so hard for me to find food, because I don't really... I used to love, like, cheese, so I would always get grilled cheese or mac and cheese, or anything like that, but I'm just so picky that I don't really eat cheese now. So today I got pizza and I just took the cheese off. But I'm just so hungry, point of story, is that I miss my own kitchen. Because, point of story, that's... Because I make my own fries that are healthy and good and I miss them. <laughs> yeah. I think we might go down to the gym after this. Maybe. We've been saying we're going to every day and then we're just so tired. We didn't end up making it to the gym. Um, we ordered room <laughs> service and it ended up taking a lot longer than we expected. So the gym closed, so we couldn't make it. We've just been laying around and I hate not getting a workout in. So I think I'm gonna do some push-ups. Do you wanna do some with me? That's going to be it for the vlog today. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.